you're all insiders now. I mean, we, we are a young company, and we're doing something very unusual here. But let me tell you a little bit about why it was called the 5150. I'm sure it doesn't ring a bell for anybody. It, it didn't for me until, until I, they explained it to me. But the 5150 was the original name for the IBM PC back in like 1984. And what IBM did in 1984 was, and uh, let's be honest, they didn't even know they were doing it, but they still did it. They created, they moved from proprietary mainframes and proprietary mini computers to an open uh, architecture, uh, personal computer. Open architecture, the bus standard was open, anybody could make cards for it, and, and lots of people did. And, and you, know, you all know the history of the PC industry, it just exploded. Innovation was, was extremely rapid and because it was open. And so that's what range is all about. Range is about opening the GSM uh, architecture. GSM has been around for a long time, but it has not been accessible to you. It has not been accessible at, at the price, it has not been accessible in the hardware, and it has not been accessible in the code. And so now, because of the power of CPUs and because of software-defined radios, it is accessible. You, you, you all heard that old line, you know, what's the total market for mainframes? Well, maybe three. What's the total market for PCs? Well, nobody's going to want to have one in their home, you know, that sort of thing. And right now, we all think the total market for GSM is, well, it's a market defined by AT&T or Deutsche Telekom or people like that. It's not a market for you. But in fact, it is and it can be a market for everybody, especially as over time we see spectrum deregulate and, and we have more access to frequencies and things like that. So we are in the early stages of, if not a revolution, a very strong evolution. And, uh, and, and what, we're what you are doing here today and what we are doing is hopefully we are the early adopters. We are leading uh, that uh, evolution. And that that's, I think, is, is pretty exciting. Uh, in, you know, my uh, sordid past, I was uh, involved with the early uh, evolution of the internet. And the internet, of course, was, what, there were perfectly good networks before, IBM, SNA, DEC had something called DECnet out there, but they too were closed and they were proprietary. They were not open for innovation. Well, the internet was open. Obviously, it took over the world because innovation and openness usually win. And so I think that, again, what we're doing here is, is, is in that same vein of opening up and sort of accelerating innovation. So. I know that we're not talking about innovation much today on what you're going to do with these networks, but the training that you have, I mean, you, you already know, I think, that there are very few people in the world that are, you know, one, where one person actually has an understanding of the mobility, the <laughs> authentication, how to actually configure this product, and how to actually apply it. There are armies of people that know how to put up antennas, and connect a radio and maybe configure a piece of equipment, but they don't have the system. They don't have the end-to-end -end training and the end-to-end -end knowledge that you're, you're getting here, even in a couple of days. So I know it's a lot of information, and let's be honest, you won't really understand it until you take it home and you sit down and you apply it. And then you're going to have a, thou a thousand questions, and that's the school of applied hard knocks. But hopefully this, this, uh, uh, these two days are giving you, you know, enough information that you'll, be, you'll at least be able to, to have a good experience when you first apply it and when you have uh, additional questions after that.